What up, everybody? It's your boy Justin with Herbal Lifestyle. Today, I just got a shipment in from Miami Fruit. Shout out to Miami Fruit for all this beautiful tropical fruit. Uh, this was a gift from my mother for Christmas, so I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> Looks like we got a sugar apple right here or a sour sop. I'm not sure which one. I think this is actually a sour sop. Some dragon fruit, red and yellow skin. I'm not sure what uh, interior this will be, but I know this is yellow. Looks like we got some sapote. I think this is black sapote. We're going to find out actually because this one's ready to go. And same with this. It's ready to go. Got some longan. Two roots. I think one's turmeric and the other is something else. We got a cacao. Some different varieties of bananas. Which I'm pretty excited for. Some ginormous passion fruit. Alright, so the first one we're going to do is this sapote. Yep, this is some chocolate pudding fruit. Mm. Hey, look at that. So, <laughs> wow, it really does feel like pudding consistency. So we got a seed here, and we got some chocolate sapote, chocolate pudding fruit. That is so weird. It tastes like chocolate pudding? No, hell no. What does it taste like? Honestly, for someone that's never had sapote or anything like that, it's really like creamy, like a banana. And almost has like a faint date taste, to be honest. You want to try it? Yeah. Consistency is different. It's creamy. I can imagine you mixing this with dates and it becoming a really great dish. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm going to definitely save these seeds though. See if I can get them to germinate. God. That is different. Mm hmm That's weird. And they come in like these weird sacks. The seeds. But look at that. Like they really call it chocolate pudding fruit because of the consistency of it is like chocolate pudding. That is pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very dry, like a date or a banana. But not bad. All right. We're gonna save the other half. Well, the rest of this, just munch on in a second. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Try sour sop. This is supposed to have cancer healing properties to it. So, what does it taste like? No idea, I never had it. Well, what's it supposed to taste like? It's gonna probably taste similar to a cherimoya or atomoya. So I'm just gonna actually Actually, I should cut it all the way down. Just so everybody can see. Ooh. Oh, look wow. at that custardy looking. Wow. Ooh, smell that. Smells so amazing. 
Wow, I'm gonna give you a slice and me a slice. Wow, shout out to Miami Fruit Company. This smells so good. I tried some Atamoya from the Asian market and you could tell it's just not fresh. This is so fresh and so good. You know, it didn't come from across the world, it just came from Miami. And they seem to know what they're doing with their growing. Okay. They got a bunch of seeds in it. Mmm. Wow. Kind of reminds me a little bit of guava. All right, so I'm gonna take another bite. Uh, Pizza Man just came for the kids, so. Man, it is so creamy and so, and so yummy. This has like a, for someone that's never had anything like this, I can compare it to like guava. It has a really good flavor. And like a, the creamiest mango texture ever. But it's not like a mango. It's like, like a melon that has no melon to it. It's just so soft and delicious. Oh wow, very tropical. So I'm supposed to have really good medicinal benefits to it. Cancer healing benefits. Look at that. Like, it's just, you can see it's very little fibers and just delicious, wow. And the other stuff here, I'll record some other things later. But it looks like I'm done for right now. Wow. Shout out to Miami Fruit Company for uh, giving me such a beautiful package. Sierra, such a beautiful package. <laughs> yeah. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. This is Justin with Herbal Lifestyle. If you like this video, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. And I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, holiday. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this fruit.